Hey friends, today in this video, I will show you how we can create self-signed certificate on Windows servers using the PowerShell command. So basically self-signed certificate is purely used for internal networks including for initial website development where developers can use the self-signed certificate to test their websites in for internal network and self-signed certificate can be also used for securing internal devices so let's start how we can create this uh, self-signed certificates using the powershell so i'm going to open the powershell isc you can use this one as well but i'm using powershell isc and here i will just open the powershell command which i just created for self-signed certificate creation so I just assigned the name self sign. Now you can see this is the PowerShell command that is new hyphen self signed certificate space hyphen subject. And uh, this is the subject line. You can change it accordingly because currently I'm just doing this in my test environment. So I just assigned the same subject line which is uh, which is available or which is used for FQDN of this machine you can see this is the uh, host name and this is the complete FQDN so subject line is the same of my server where I'm creating this uh, self-signed certificate now this is DNS name this is the DNS name, I mean FQDN name of my server where I'm going to create this self-signed certificate. You can change it accordingly. If you have like suppose a server 01, so you can just change it server 01 and as per your domain name as well. Next is the certificate location where I'm just going to, to store this certificate. So this is the default location of my server. You can change it accordingly. Next is the key algorithm. This is RSA, key algorithm type is RSA and next is the key length. So this currently it's 2048, you can change it 10024 or something else. It's completely depend on you. So currently I'm using 2048. Next is the key export policy. So currently I'm going to create a certificate that will be exportable. So I just specified here key export policy is exportable next is not after so from the current date it will be uh, available for next five years so i specified the years like five if, if you just want to specify one so this will be only for uh, for one year so this certificate can be used for next one year so i'm going to specify five so this certificate will be available from the current date to till next five years so this is the complete command that is new self-signed certificate subject dns name certificate location key algorithm key export policy and not after so these all are the parameters where you need to specify the value next what you need to do you need to just execute this command and we'll see if certificate has been created so let's see. Script is currently running. We need to wait for a while. Now the certificate has been created in this location. You can see this is the subject and this is the thumbprint of the certificate. So let's see if we, if we can see this inside the MMC. I'm going to open the MMC console and we'll add the snapping like certificate snapping and click on the add because I created this certificate on the computer label so we'll select this one click on next click OK now I will expand this this is the personal certificate now you can see this certificate has been created for next uh, five years so this is the method which you can follow to create the the self-signed certificate for your uh, servers and you can use it for various purpose for internal networks thank you for watching this video